welcome back to your commander collects and today we're checking out marvel legends retro series lizard and uh yeah kind of excited about getting this guy i do have some critiques but we'll get into that a little bit later but first before we do crack them open let's check them out with the uh original lizard from toy biz 90s series and the cards are pretty well identical as you can see though the lizard here doesn't have the tongue out this one does so totally different when it comes to that he has the name tag there on his uh lab coat he doesn't there so there's very similar but a few differences and yeah, of course, he comes with uh, his uh, accessories here and an extra head, so and he doesn't come with anything else, so that's quite an update. Here's the backs of them. So, yeah, let's go ahead and crack them open. All right, now that we got them open, let's take a look at what it comes with. And it comes with two extra hands. Only one fist hand for the right hand. And then he's got one gripping hand for the left hand. You don't get a set of each, you just get one of each. So that, honestly, I think is disappointing. Because it's going to be hard for him to hold both of these beakers that he comes with. And these guys, these are pretty cool. I like how they have that yellow in there. It's kind of weird how it's, you know, just kind of in the center there and it's not filled all the way in. To me, that looks a little weird, so I don't I don't know. I think this whole bottom, or at least up to halfway or something, should have been all yellow. But instead, it's just there in the middle in this pipe-looking area that kind of adds up with this. But it doesn't look like it fills out, so that's kind of weird. Now, this one, they did a little better on. I think they did good on this one. Uh, I like how we have two different colors and both uh, are actually different shapes and sizes. So, that's pretty cool. I like these that he comes with. And then, he comes with this extra head. And I really like this extra head. A lot of texturing and detailing in there. A wash in there. They did good. They did really good. Like that tongue coming out. Man. Teeth painted good. Got the nice yellow eyes. They did really good on this head. I really like it. So yeah. That's what he comes with. Of course his tail comes detached. Out of the. Or in the box. So. I went ahead and put it on. I don't consider it an accessory. I consider it part of the fig so but anyways he does come with uh two different hands on him in the box too he's got this uh kind of wide sprawled out hand and this one a little more kind of i don't know clawing style hand he's got these wide feet which i was hoping would help him stand a little better and some poses, I'm sure maybe, but standing in a vanilla pose pretty much like that. I had to use the tail to kind of brace him up. So, yeah. But feet look pretty cool. Got the tattered uh, pants down at the bottom. Purple all the way up. And then you get to his chest. It's all black. Uh, shirt. And then you got the white lab coat, which has the uh tears on the wrists there and and i think this lab coat's just too white it needs to be i think they needed to dirty it up some i don't know that's just too bright white but his tail looks good it is bendy wire but don't get a lot of bend out of it 
I mean, about to there is about as good as I can get. And it only kind of bends up there, down around here. Doesn't bend up here any, really. So, yeah, it's got a bendy wire, but it's not really the greatest. So, I mean, I'm glad we're getting bendy wire. It sucks that we haven't gotten it on the doc Ox, Dr. Octopus figs. Nah, still cheap and lazy to me, but that's a different deal. Anyways, his other head, very, very classic retro. It looks good, too. I mean, it's got the wide eyes. It's got a lot of the texture and uh, uh, kind of a shading effect in the lines there in that mold. Did really good with this head, too, but... Honestly, there we go. Get that off. Um, let's take a look at the other. Because honestly, this is the head I'm going to use. I like the other head. If I had an extra one of these, if I wanted to spend that money, which I don't want to spend that money because these things are getting extremely expensive for what they are. So I'm happy with just this one, and I'm going to use this head here. As I'm sure I've heard uh, several say that's the head they're going to use. But yeah, I like it. I like it a lot. So that's the head I'm going to use. So let's get into some uh, size comparisons. It's time for some size comparisons. And, you know, comparisons with uh, some lizard figs of the past. So let's bring out this retro... Spider-Man Animated Series. Yeah, I opened them. And let's bring out the bath. And honestly, with his legs more straightened out, he's definitely taller. He's definitely bigger. So I'm going to scoot him over a little bit so we have a little more room for the big guy. Big lizard here. And uh, yeah, big difference. And... Honestly, the original and pictures, I never liked that head sculpt. After I got it in hand, yeah, I really like this bath now. So, I like that bath a little more than I like him, honestly. And we'll get into all that in the, uh, the uh, final... You know thoughts so let's move them back and we're gonna bring in another big guy we will bring in the rhino let's get him back over now and we'll go ahead and bring in spider-man from the renew your vows pack and yeah I do think the lizard needs to be bigger. Yeah. And then, last but not least, yours truly, your commander, G.I. Joe Classified Series. So, let's get into some final thoughts. All right, final thoughts. And I left him out and him out just because I thought it'd be fun to keep him out with him. Plus, I need to use him during my final thoughts. First off, I love the size of this uh, lizard way more. I like, honestly, the looks of this lizard way more. And like I said, I did not like this head sculpt on this bath in pictures. But once I got it in hand, it looks a lot better than I, I, I figured it would be. <laughs> now, if he was a little bit bigger, he doesn't even have to be that size bigger. But I feel like it should have still been a little bit bigger. You know, I like the fig. I like how we have the bendy tail, but honestly, that bendy tail really doesn't do a whole lot. It's about as good as I can get with it. I mean, yeah, it's not great to me. And I'm getting them kind of to stand up better with those wider feet now, so... That's good. I love these beakers, except this one just does not make sense with 
how it's just kind of a cylinder in there instead of full like that one. So I don't know. I'm not a scientist. Maybe that's a thing. I don't know. I doubt it though. I do wish we would have got two fist hands. And honestly, I wish we would have got two of these sprawled out hands. Like wall crawling hands. Because honestly, he can stick to walls too. So if we would have got an extra one of these, that would have been great for some pictures and posing. So it's disappoint very disappointing we didn't get an extra one of the wall crawling hands. Really like this head sculpt. Just, I like this one way more. So that's the one I'm using. But my only critiques really, I mean he is penless by the way. My only critiques really is I wish he was bigger. I wish the lab coat wasn't as white. And that's pretty much it. Otherwise, he looks great. I think that's my main critiques. I do like how he's got the tattering on his pants better. I mean, yeah, they're pretty clean. He's pretty clean. I feel like he should have been a little more dirty. But it's still nice to get him. He's going to go on my animated style shelf. I don't, I'm, I don't believe I'm going to get the, uh, cell shaded Spider-Man line when it comes out next month, like they did with the X-Men because I just not into cell shaded figures. But anyways, he looks very close to his, uh, vintage release here. So that part I like, I, I like that a lot. Like I said, Bigger, maybe a little dirtier. That'd have been awesome. But, still a good fig. I'm going to give him... Oh, yeah, that tail. Disappointed with that tail. I do like how it has bendy in it, but it doesn't bend a lot. So, yeah. The hands, not having two full sets of hands with these. That takes off. I'm going to give him... I'm going to give him about between five and a half and a... 5.5 and a 6. Eh, we'll stick with 5.5. Detailing on the heads are great. I mean, he does look good. It's just... Oh, man, that tail there. I wish they could have done better on that tail on bending, being able to bend it, but... It is what it is, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, that's pretty much it. Wait. This would have been a cool feature. Let's see, how did that work? You know, I don't even remember how this works. I know it's supposed to twirl, but... Ah, uh, something to do with this arm, maybe, right? I don't know. I'll figure it out at some point, but yeah. Tell you what, if you uh, enjoyed this video, join your commander's army by hitting like and subscribe. Check out my other videos. I do several different lines. Not as many as I used to collect because price is rising, but still do several different lines. And with all that said, Cobra!